lost the I liked my body. I fought an endless war with my hips. But today, I look in the mirror and I think I'm really pretty. Our bodies are an act of courage. Her appearance really bothers me. Lose a little weight. There were a lot of comments that hurt me. In Brazil, the concept of beauty is a fit, defined woman with a tiny waist and a huge butt, right? You already had surgery. You're so pretty. But I want to look a little better. I would never think of doing that kind of surgery. I want to get a nose job. I want to get nose surgery, work on my music, and have a life full of love. Men need to be rough. They need calluses on their hands. I'm trying to reach my goals. I'm fighting for my dreams. Do you want to spend 25 million tomans on a nose job? Then what? The market will think you're beautiful? We all want to look good, right? But sometimes our families have their own ideas of what's beautiful, as if it's up to them. Young and old, our realities and dreams can be so different. Seriously, it seems like there's a huge gap between the generations. Sometimes we just don't get each other. The question is, can we fix it? Everything okay? It's all good. Beauty hurts. Beauty hurts. Botox? Once you start, you'll always want to do more. Without Botox, you look like an angry woman. You all right? All good. For my mother, beauty is being thin. That's basically it. Like Barbie, you know? I'm a big fan of plastic surgery. I got a tummy tuck and had excess skin removed from my breasts. I've heard my mother say a lot, oh, if your breasts are like mine, they're going to sag, they're going to droop. They're going to droop and get saggier. And I joke with her that she should get implants too. I, Camila, think I would never choose to have surgery. One of the people who lifts me up the most is Fernanda, my wife. She always tells me how beautiful I am. As a teenager, I heard a lot that I needed to lose weight, that I had to lose weight. I felt like a disappointment and that my parents would never be proud of me. When I started posting pictures, it took a while to post one that showed my belly. It was very hard to find that courage. I worked at a beauty clinic for seven years. We did fat freezing, cellulite treatment, laser hair removal. Her job was telling people what they should do to be more beautiful. Sometimes she even pointed out things that didn't even bother them before. I used to take Camila to the clinic to have procedures done. Sometimes it was of her own will, or sometimes she would go to please me. Who knows? I worked in the clinic, so I needed a model. That's when we started clashing. Whoa, Camila's mom has clear expectations about her daughter's looks. 
And no wonder. In Brazil, beauty means status and opportunity. Brazil's number two in the world in the number of cosmetic surgeries. USA is number one, despite Brazil having fewer people with less money. According to the surgeon who invented the world's most dangerous plastic surgery, the Brazilian butt lift, it's a human right to be beautiful. Some cosmetic surgeries are actually covered by Brazil's public health system. So society here has clear expectations about appearances. That's some intense pressure Camila's up against. My favorite granddaughter. My family was always very traditional, and I was always different. You used to be more, and now you're less. Less fat? Yeah. <laughs> but it would be good if she lost weight, wouldn't it? Just a little. Lose a little weight, be more defined. I was always fat, and that was an issue. Then I came out as lesbian, and that was another issue. Appearance is important too. Feeling good, wearing nice clothes. Looks don't mean anything? So you think I'm ugly? No, I think you're pretty. It's exhausting fighting these comments. You just need to exercise. I do. Sometimes we use this discourse about health to cover up aesthetic pressure. What does society say is beautiful? Who's on the cover of a magazine? A woman who's thin and blonde. Stop. Stop right there. My godfather had gastric bypass surgery a while ago. He was always very fat. They cut out a piece of your stomach so you can't eat as much. It's a mega invasive surgery. If you ever think about getting your stomach stapled, go for it. Because it's wonderful. It's great. It's highly recommended. But not by any doctor. It's recommended by my family. <laughs> I would never think of doing that kind of surgery. I'm a musician. I write lyrics, I compose music, and I sing. I think appearance is really important to a singer's growth and success. Bring it up to your shoulder. There you go. Take care of your hands. You're working for your audience. Of course I like beauty. And I know my audience likes it too. I have no problem with women caring about their beauty. Their job in life is clear. They do it for their husbands. But I don't understand it for men and boys. Nice work. How are you? You look great, Reza. Your body looks great. One question. Did you get a nose job? Yeah. Really? I was watching you thinking, this guy looks perfect. You look great too. Your nose is so beautiful. I was sure you had a nose job. I love how I look. I like my eyebrows, I love my laugh, but everyone has some flaws.
Manliness comes from strength and toughness. Nose jobs and eyebrow transplants don't make you tough. Nose jobs and cheek surgery? Maybe tomorrow they'll get breasts. At least 60 or 70 percent of all Iranian girls have had a nose job. It's no different for boys either. So Risa's uncle doesn't want him getting a nose job. But in Iran, aka the nose job capital of the world, over a hundred thousand people do it every year. People even wear nose bandages as a status symbol. Iranians became obsessed with their noses because for about half of them, the female half, that's basically all they're allowed to show. In 2022, mass protests broke out against Iran's government and its strict rules requiring women to wear hijabs. One thing the regime does tolerate, though, is nose jobs. They were even approved by former supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini. He said, God loves beauty. And despite the upheaval in Iran, Iranians are still getting nose jobs, including more and more men like Risa. <laughs> Risa! What? Come on, honey, let's eat. I'm coming. I'm hungry. Wait a sec, Mom. I'm practicing. I keep calling you. Come give me a hand. Come grab the yogurt while I serve the food. Mom? I want to get a nose job. What's with that face? Where did this come from? Mom, you know that noses are important. It's great if someone doesn't have a problem with their nose or cheeks or their face. Especially women now are changing their whole faces. They put in cheeks, I don't know, lips, eyes, and so on. I'm against it. I haven't done it and I won't do it. I don't like it. People around me, like my friends, sometimes make fun of me in my nose. They joke around, but it affects me. I don't exactly know what happened to my nose, but I think when I was seven or eight, I broke it while I was playing or wrestling with my brother. One problem with my nose is that I have trouble breathing. And of course, I know it will look much better. Look, I had to wear sunglasses to hide my nose. As his mother, I think his face is fine. I've been living with my mom since I was 10, so I didn't have a close relationship with my dad. My uncles had my back ever since I was a kid. I used to talk to him whenever I had a problem. I don't think he'll ever become a famous singer by doing surgery. He won't achieve anything in this industry. I've always been passionate about fashion. I started working for Chintaria about two years ago as an influencer for the brand. She loves shopping, getting dressed up, putting on makeup. She's loved makeup since she was a little girl. We're a lot alike, right? Jessica from Chintoria was the first person who believed in me like this. 
cuido com ela. Now I take care of all the Instagram promotion with her. This is a country where more than 57% of people don't weigh the standard weight. It's the standard that's wrong. Jessica was a pioneer. She had this vision, a thin woman who was like, I want everybody to have the same access to fashion that I have. You don't just have to overcome your own thoughts minute by minute when you wear a bikini to the beach. You also have to overcome the looks you get from people. One time I got a message. She said, wow, I bought my first bikini because I saw you wearing one. And I was like, look at this, if I can just change the life of one person. One person who couldn't go to the beach before. <laughs> what is a beach body anyway? Camila is part of a body positivity movement that says, let's accept ourselves, regardless of how we look. But putting yourself out there like Camila does can also mean getting some nasty looks and comments. I'm like, don't you think this photo shows a little too much? When it's her in a bikini showing a lot of her chest. As a mother, you want to protect your child from everything, right? And when you see her showing so much, you're afraid of the comments and of her getting hurt, of people's prejudice, you know? It still hurts when someone calls her fat. It hurts both her and me. A news job? Do men even get news jokes? <laughs> shut up. You shut up. <laughs> it's my nose. It's very important for my career, my life, earning money. So you're going to put all the money you earned in a doctor's pocket? It'll make your voice worse. Your voice will be like Neda Yassi's. In Iran, this surgery costs $1,500. That's my cost of living for at least a year. How will you earn all that money? He wants to busk for it. The first time I saw him playing music on the street, I really cried. I cried a lot, but I didn't let him see me. I'm not upset that my child's busking. I'm sad because I don't have enough money to help him. My concern is, today it's about his nose. Tomorrow, it'll be an eyebrow transplant. He's already got this thing in his ear. God forbid he turns into a junkie someday. How many of your friends have done it? Lots of them. Your problem is that I'm a boy. So if society hasn't seen it, that's my problem? I'm saying that as a boy, your path and your needs are different than a girl's. When I talked to my uncle, he looked like he wanted to beat me. Imagine my nephew's going to do this now. It goes against my honor. I think it's creepy. She can visit for one week, max. Otherwise, we'll start fighting. Let's make a nice breakfast. And there's nothing in the fridge. Do you eat protein before your workout? Are you cutting back on that salt you love so much? Egg without salt? No way. It tastes plain. Let's see. Really need salt. 
Really? Let me see. Tastes great to me. Mom, I think it's great. Hello, I have an appointment with Dr. Gustavo. I'm Claudia. After I was pregnant with Camila, I had a lot of excess skin in my breasts and my abdomen, and it really bothered me. So you've already done your breasts and your abdomen? Exactly. But not your back yet? This fat we'll remove from your back, and then we'll move it to this part of your buttocks here. That'll give you a nice lift and fill in the areas where you need it. A little fat in here, not overdoing it, and you'll get a nice curve through here. Honestly, if I could give her one piece of advice and she would listen, I would say, don't do it. I don't want to hear it. So you're doing it? Of course, it's wonderful. I'll get the definition I always wanted. It's not plastic surgery, it's liposuction. You asked about the risk? The surgery's under general anesthesia. I'll be intubated. It's possible to have respiratory failure. And make your children orphans? For heaven's sake. If I do it all carefully, I'll be okay, child. I want you to support me. I'll support you, if it makes you happy. It's not like I'm going to judge someone for having surgery. It's not about that. What I preach is much more about respecting what others want to do with their bodies. Do you really think a nose job would make you successful? Absolutely. So you don't need to do anything else for your career? You're looking to change your appearance first? By the way, the little button noses Risa likes weren't always the thing in Iran. For thousands of years, this is what was known as the Persian nose. Have you taken any other useful steps so I could say he's done all the work and now the only thing left is this nose job? It's all connected. You can't just sing or make music. My audience wants it now. They're asking for it. What should I do? Here are some of Iran's top male singers. Can you spot the nose job here? Someone like Mohsen Yegane got surgery at the peak of his fame. At least he proved that he'd already accomplished something. You haven't done anything yet. Uncle. Your mother has so many problems, you could help her. You want to spend 25 million tomans on a nose job? Then what? The market will think you're beautiful? Uncle. Have I even heard a song of yours? Has your mother? You're not an artist. You're just trying to look like an artist. If you were a real artist, I should have heard a hit song by now, right? That's it. Do whatever you want. Thanks. I'll summarize everything my mother ever tried to make me lose weight. Weight Watchers, Shakes, Weight Loss Medicine, Gym from a very early age, Super Restrictive Diets. I lost a lot of weight. I got to the skinniest I've ever been in my life. I got to that weight. Like, wasn't that supposed to make me happy? But I wasn't happy. So now what? What do I do now? And at some point, that pushed us apart. For a long time, I was the person who said that she was fat. Nowadays, I don't say anything anymore. I ended up pushing her away from me when I had those attitudes. And I don't want to push her away from me. I love her the way she is, and that's it. I realized that this pressure to lose weight really hurts her. So, no matter how much I want to pressure her, no matter how much I look at her and think, well, she could lose weight, I don't speak up because I don't want to push her away.
It really makes me feel bad seeing my uncle upset with me. I'm just trying to get closer to my dreams and move forward on the path that I want. Will the nose surgery affect my singing voice? Will it change it? Depends on how much smaller the new nose is. If you want a normal, natural, masculine nose, no. God created manly noses for men. I think if he does it against everyone's opinion, I'll be very disappointed. Hi, dear mother. How are you? I finally got the surgery, you see. I'll see you this weekend when you return home. Love you. Bye for now. I hope the surgery went well and that you look even more beautiful. And if I tried to change your mind or disagreed with you, it was only because I want the best for you. Love you. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Fernanda said something to me that's really stuck in my mind. She said, how many 27-year-old women have the power to influence people like you do, who've gotten there in such a short time? I've been thinking about that sentence every day since she said it. I do admire her for saying, I'm fine, I'm going to put on a bikini and go out, not worrying at all. It's cool, it's beautiful. If she's happy like this, being chubby, she wants to lose weight, whatever she does, I'm okay with it. I can only be grateful for the daughter I have. I believe my mother thinks I'm beautiful. I hope she does. But I think she wouldn't be the way I am. I don't know if she would say that another woman, who looks the way I do, if she'd think that woman was beautiful. always vain. Those who seek perfection are never happy, because we'll never be perfect. Well, kill me, make me beautiful. It's a saying.